No, you don't want that one? <laughs> if you love nature and wildlife, the all-inclusive resorts around the Riviera Maya are a fantastic place to encounter local wildlife right on the resort properties. Many of the resorts are large and they have a lot of jungle area still left on the property between the villas and all sorts of areas which are great habitat for a variety of creatures. And over the past uh, few years I've noticed that there's a lot more coati mundis, raccoons, even snakes that we get to see on resort properties. So it's a great habitat. But you should be aware that these are wild animals. And if you take a look at the Kowati Mundis, they got vicious little teeth on them. They're not tame, and hand feeding them is not a good idea. Even though Cindy hand fed the Kowati Mundi, and I have hand fed raccoons at the Grand Palladium White Sands Resort. It's something that you tend to do because you love animals, and, and it just, they're so cute. I mean, we were at the Grand Palladium. White Sands on the beach at the seafood restaurant and the raccoons come sneaking in and they stand up by your chair and put their little paws on you. They want to be fed. Now how could you resist something like that? I couldn't. And same with these Kowati Mundis. This is at the Iberostar Parisio Lindo. The first one was at the Iberostar Toucan Quetzal. They're all around. They come on the balconies, everything like that. And uh, recently I've come across uh, stories that there's also a problem with the wildlife in the Caribbean, in the uh, Central America, because again, so many people have moved in, and when people move in, they have domestic pets, dogs and cats, and dogs and cats can carry diseases. Now, if your dog or cat gets a disease, you can get it to the veterinarian, but many wild animals obviously don't have that option, so if they get infected, they pass it on to other animals. And there is a real problem now with distemper in Costa Rica. And uh, they can, the animals can get ra uh, rabies. It's the same family as raccoons, just like up here in North America. People don't want uh, uh, you to be touching skunks or raccoons. I mean, you wouldn't want to touch a skunk anyway. But you get the idea that they're wild animals. And when they interact with domestic, they can get diseases. Still, they're so cute that it's hard to resist for anyone getting close to them. And that includes at places like uh, Sandoz Playa Cart. That's another one where we encountered Quarimundis. They come in under the fence. There are cats uh, on the resort properties, all sorts of different animals. Now, it's surprising to me that Cindy and I haven't gotten some disease or something happening down in the tropics because we handle the animals. I mean, I had them crawling up on me. They were on my table, uh, the Coati Mundis at the Iberostar Parisio Lindo. As a matter of fact, National Geographic used that clip in uh, one of their programs. But, like I said, we've been lucky. And what I don't want to see happen is people getting close to the animals, something happening, somebody getting sick, somebody getting a disease, and then suddenly all of the animals pay the price for it. Uh, that would be about the worst thing that I could imagine because everyone loves to come along and take pictures and feed the uh, little creatures. They're so cute and uh, stuff, but it's just not something that you should be doing. And if you absolutely want to feed them, maybe throw the food a little bit ahead of them, but uh, don't get them close to your hand. We're going to try to abide by those rules also. And it's, it's tough. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, honestly, it's tough because the animals are so cute. Uh, at the uh, Bahia Principe, Okumo, when Cindy and I were there, uh, we had a resort cat come into our room. It jumped up on the bed. It slept there. It purred. I mean, you can't help it. They're amazing creatures. So it's just a little heads up, maybe a thing that you should know if you're going down. Bring the camera, get close to the animals, but try to not interact with them with hand feeding and stuff like that. That includes the howler monkeys, by the way. So thank you for watching.